The Italian Aerospace Research Center is proud to present the new plasma wind tunnel Scirocco. The Plasma and Wind Tunnel Shuriko is one of the largest and most advanced facilities in the world for the testing of materials used in thermal protection systems of modern space vehicles. Shuriko reproduces the thermal conditions of space vehicles during the re-entry phase into the Earth's atmosphere. When the air friction exerted over the structural components of the vehicle raises temperature up to thousands of degrees. The capacity to resist these high temperatures of the so-called thermal protection systems is tested in Scirocco. Named after the warm wind from the desert, Scirocco heats up the airflow which strikes at high speed the material being tested, thus simulating the thermal conditions and the impact against the atmosphere. The plasma tunnel utilizes a 70 megawatt electrical power supply to generate the energy required for the heating process. This energy is sufficient to supply a city of 100,000 inhabitants. Shiroka represents an important achievement in aerospace design. Once the aerodynamic shape of the new vehicle is defined in the design phase by means of virtual computational methods on high technology supercomputers, the following phase is based on experimentation and te testing over full scale real model. The hypersonic speeds reached by the vehicles during the re-entry into the atmosphere compel designers to take into account very complex physical phenomena. In this phase, a facility such as Scirocco represents an essential tool in the phases of design, testing and certification of materials and of the components. The thermal load information obtained from the test is indispensable for the computation activities of structural designers who will have to set up the definitive model of the vehicle. On the basis of the acquired data, the vehicle will be able to cross the thickest layers of the atmosphere and land without any damage and ready to start a new mission. Shiroko exceeds the similar existing facilities in the United States and in Russia for its physical dimension and its operative envelope. Its main features are the possibility to test large models, including full-scale models, and to perform tests over long periods. The facility has a high degree of alternation and is equipped with instrumentation capable of varying the dynamic thermal fluid conditions of the test for the purpose of simulating a complete re-entry trajectory of the vehicle from space. Shiroko includes subsystems that develop and control the generation, acceleration and the subsequent cooling of the plasma, the movements of the model and the data acquisition and processing. All the subsystems needed long and accurate planning, realization and testing and they represent the best of technology in this sector. The arc heater is the facility core. In this section the plasma is generated by an arc discharge comparable to lightning that is kept on during the whole test. The arc heater is one of the largest in the world and it has a modular structure. The air is blown into the arc cavity by a number of nozzles. It is heated up by the arc discharge reaching temperatures of the order of 10,000 Kelvin degrees and turns into plasma. The conical nozzle is the section through which the plasma generated in the arc heater is accelerated to hypersonic speeds. The geometrical dimensions of the nozzle can vary to create different fluid dynamic conditions according to the requirements of the test. The hypersonic plasma accelerated by the nozzle is injected into the test chamber where it strikes the test model. 
the considerable dimensions of the test chamber enable full-scale models to be inserted. The chamber is equipped with all the necessary instrumentation for a proper monitoring and analysis of the test performed and to assure maximum safety over its duration. The test model is placed on a robotic arm capable of moving horizontally, vertically and of rotating to recreate all the possible impact conditions against the plasma. After the interaction with the test model, the high temperature and hypersonic plasma is collected by the diffuser, a tube where the flow decelerates and is cooled by the heat exchanger. The process gas is subsequently released into the atmosphere after previous elimination of the nitrogen oxide. Let's see how a test is prepared and performed. Firstly, the auxiliary systems are activated. Then, the final checks are done in the test chamber. After, the conduction of the operations passed to the control room. Finally, the arc heater is turned on. Enable power supply. Power supply enable. PSS configuration. PSS configuration, OK. Power on, power supply. Power on, power supply, OK. Ready for start up. We are ready for start up. Start up. Argon lamp in progress. Air valve open. Air lamp current and air lamp okay. Air stable. Current stable. Set point reached. The plasma wind tunnel Scirocco represents the most effective and advanced testing and certification facility currently available in the world and it is ready to support the international space programs of the future. Today we can state with pride that thanks to the determination shown and the activities performed by all our teams, the Italian Aerospace Research Center and its plasma wind tunnel Scirocco are ready to offer more and more space to the future. Bye.